So this right here is a nice 3D model of a little Lego block right here. This is kind of where we're going with our technical drawing unit. We're going to end up with this. We're going to be 3D modeling in a program called Inventor. But in order to do this successfully, what we need to do along the way is we need to be able to take measurements of a block, accurate measurements, and be able to transfer that onto a piece of paper, transfer that into the computer, wherever our target is. We need to first be able to take measurements and convey that information. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making an orthographic drawing of one of these blocks right here. So we're, here's kind of an example. When you take a look at an orthographic drawing, you'll notice you have more than one view of the same object. So right here we have what's called a three view drawing because there are three views. You have your top view, you have your front view, and you have your side view. Very important. Notice the top and the front are lined up vertically. Notice the front and the side are lined up horizontally. That is very, very, very important as you do this, is that they are lined up a specific way. All right, so this is kind of how it's laid out. Just imagine this is one block. Um, this is kind of what our paper is going to look like when we're done with this drawing. And so let's go ahead and get going and make a nice orthographic drawing. A couple things to know from the start. First, we're using graph paper. You'll notice that this is all nicely lined up on the graph paper. Your graph paper has lines on it for a reason, so we're going to use those lines. Secondly, I'm going to be using a pen. I highly suggest you use a pencil. I'm using a pen just so you can see it on here, but I want you to use a pencil. It's a good idea to use a pencil. That way, if you make any mistakes, you can erase it a lot easier. All right. Um, couple other things before we get going here. So if I have a ruler, if I measure this graph paper, I'm just going to take a look right here. I'm going to zoom in and you can see each square on my graph paper. I've got one, two, three, four of them make up an inch. That means each square is a quarter of an inch. So one little square right there is one quarter of an inch by one quarter of an inch. We're going to use that to our advantage. It's very nice so that way we can just count blocks sometimes, count the squares, you don't have to measure everything, use the graph paper. The graph paper is a tool, use the tool. Also, um, you know, it's, it's good to double check everything, but we also know that four of them makes up one inch. That's why they call it quad ruled graph paper. Quad ruled, quad means four. So, not every graph paper is like that. There's some with five to an inch, there's other ones, but most graph paper you will see is quad ruled graph paper. Um, so, we're going to use that to our advantage here. All right, so let's get going here. Now, looking at an orthographic drawing, it is almost always going to be laid out like this you've got your front view, you've got your top view, you've got your side view. As far as which one is the front, is that the front, is that the front, is that the front, it ultimately doesn't matter because you're going to be drawing all of them. Usually kind of the most important side, but for this exercise we're just going to call that right there the front side. So that's our front. You'll notice the front is in the bottom left corner. So do not start drawing up here in the top right because then you will run out of space on your paper. So we're going to set up our piece of paper, we're going to draw our front view, we're going to switch over to our top view, and we're going to draw our side view. All right, let's get going here. So again, I'm using a pen, use a pencil, and anytime you have a straight line, use a ruler to draw all of your straight lines. If you do not use a ruler to draw your straight lines, it is wrong. I will take off points. It is not correct. All right, so let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a point kind of in the bottom left of my sheet of paper. I'm just going to put a little dot right there. Not really too important where it is. I'm just going to use that as my starting point. All right. So in order to draw this accurately, we are going to first measure this accurately. The better way to do this would be to use calipers. So if I use calipers, I can take this and I can measure it and I can get a really good exact answer. But we're not quite there yet, so we're going to be using a ruler to measure this. 
All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the width of my block right there. I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to put it right here. And as always, we are measuring from that zero line, not from the edge of the ruler, from that zero line. And for this, we'll round to the nearest sixteenth. For the Lego pieces, most of them fall nicely on sixteenths or eighths or even quarters. So I'm looking at this, I've got one inch, two inch, two and a half inches. All right, so I know that it's gonna be two and a half inches. So I can, a couple ways to do this. One is I can just put down my ruler right here. I have my little starting point right there. I'm going to just take my line and I'm going to go over two and one half inches. Right there. All right. So that is a two and a half inch line. Should be the exact same as my block right there. Excellent. Um, I should note we are doing a full scale drawing, a one to one drawing, which means the drawing is going to be the exact same as the block itself. All right. So I've got the the uh, the baseline right there. Now let's measure the height of this. For right now. Let's not pay attention to these studs, these little things sticking up right there. Let's just pretend it's a rectangle, kind of like that. Um, so let's measure the height right here. So I'm lining up with zero, and I've got three quarters of an inch. All right, so now here's where you got a couple options. I can, again, put my ruler. I can line up kind of the zero. I can kind of line that up right there to do my three quarters. But what we know is that every square is a quarter of an inch. So three quarters of an inch would be three squares. So I can go one quarter, two quarter, three quarters. So I just put a little dot right there. And then I'm just going to use my ruler as just a straight edge. I'm not going to use it for measurement. I'm going to use it as a straight edge to connect this dot to this dot. Alright, come over here to the other side, because I know it's a rectangle, so I know that that one's going to line up with that one. I know it's a rectangle, so I know that's going to be lining up right there. And the top of, or I'm sorry, the side of it should line up nice and perfectly. So that rectangle right there is the same as that rectangle right there. Alright. For right now, let's leave off these studs. Let's pretend they're not there. We can come back to those in a few minutes. All right. So now we're going to go, we're going to rotate this to look at our top view. So we're just taking it, kind of rotating it like that. Now, I need to measure that. But I've already measured that because that distance right there, that measurement, is the exact same as that measurement right there. So the reason we line them up is so I can reuse these measurements. So what I'm going to do, actually I'll do this with a pencil. So this, if hopefully you're using a pencil, this is where you would kind of lightly draw it. So I'm just going to find this edge right here, and I'm just going to lightly draw a line straight up. Right here. I'm going to lightly draw a line straight up. And what that does is that gives us that measurement still without having to measure. Anytime we don't have to measure, but we have an exact measurement, is good. All right. So I'm going to come up about right there on my piece of paper. Don't go way too far like up here because everything needs to be nice and compact on your paper. So let's just go over. Let's just skip like you know, four or five blocks on the piece of paper or something. Let's put it right here. So, what else do I need to measure? So I know that that is already measured. That's that two and a half. So I need to measure this distance right here, the width of my block right there. So I'm going to grab my ruler, line up my zero line, and I see that is one and a quarter inches. All right, so one and a quarter. So let's just say I'm starting right here. 
I want to go up one and a quarter inches. Well, I know that that's five squares on my graph paper because I got one, two, three, one inch, and then one quarter. Or just to double check, let's measure one and a quarter. All right, so from a zero to one and a quarter, just put a little dot right there, and then take my pencil and connect those two lines. I know it's a rectangle, so I know I'm just going to be coming straight over here. And because I already measured that length, I only had to make one measurement for over here. All right. And then that should be the exact same size as that. And it is. All right. Now, coming over here to the side view. So the top view is good. The front view is good. Now we're going to come over to the side view. We're going to put it about right there. But I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you noticed on my drawing here, I've got this funny looking diagonal line right here. We're going to use the fancy little trick right here. So I'm going to take from about the corner of my piece right here and I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle, if you're looking at the squares on the graph paper, is kind of like up one over one, up one over one. So you're just going diagonally along the lines. So I'm just going to put kind of a dotted line here. Again, if you're using a pencil, you should just do it nice and lightly with the pencil, and that will give you something that you can use there. All right, so if you lightly draw a diagonal line there, what we're going to actually do, so the same way we drew these lines up here this way, we can do the same. We'll draw some lines over this way, again, just kind of lightly. And then, so that gives us that height right there, that measurement. We, went, we need to transfer this measurement right here to over here, because that is the width of our block right there. But we can't just magically do that. So we have this diagonal line. What the diagonal line does is it kind of acts like a little mirror, where it comes over here and it bounces down. It comes over here and it bounces down. So I'm going to take this line come over here to where it hits that 45 and go straight down. Over here bring it straight over where it hits that 45 and go straight down. So now you should be left with kind of your outline right there of your piece. So I'm getting my dimensions all here without ever having to measure it again because I've already measured part of it on this side. I've already measured part of it on that side. So then I just take my pencil and my ruler and I fill in that part right there. All right, so this is a very, very basic drawing of this block. Uh, it's always a good idea to write what scale you're using. So I'm just going to write full scale or you can write a one to one scale and that we have right there it's a very very simplified orthographic drawing of a block right here uh, what you can do next if you want to you can add the top part the studs on there so you get something that looks like this and same way when you're transferring your measurements on your outer dimensions is if you have details like the studs right here so I measured where one was transfer that up and now I don't have to measure it again uh, measured where it was over here comes over here bounces off that it's right there so here's the simplified version right here here's the little bit better version right here so do that put that piece of paper in your folder so you don't lose it we'll come back to it later so that's your first one-to-one full-scale drawing right there.